Oh, said I cannot tell you how it breaks my heart to see you two moving out. Well, I'm over that now. <laughs> Say, I need a favor, man. Regina didn't even bother to read the proposal I put in on at-risk students. So what I was thinking was, how about if I resubmit it and put your name on it? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you a sneaky dog, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel that. You know, it's just like that time we crashed Oprah party playing like we was kid and play. <laughs> <laughs> Since you hooked us up, I'm not gonna dime you out. And that reminds me, I put up a roommate wanted sign for you at the supermarket. You can take that down, cause my roommate days are over. I don't ever, as long as I live, want to hear the word roommate again. You hear what I'm saying? Hi, I'm Cherry. This is my twin sister, Candy. Has the roommate position been filled? <laughs> it has now. <laughs> Step into your new home, ladies. <laughs> uh, candy, cherry, and said and Levita. Yeah? Don't just stand there, give me your keys. Excuse me, Virginia. You uh, wanted to see me? Yes. Come in, Mr. Hightower. Coach Robinson wrote an innovative proposal to form a counseling group for at-risk students. You should read it. You could learn something. You know, Regina, the only thing that I've learned is that you <laughs> are a big fraud and have walked right into my trap. <laughs> Cedric didn't write this proposal. I did. It's the same one that's been sucking up your plant juice. <laughs> You wrote this? Every word of it, even the big ones. Well, I don't know what to say. No, there's nothing for you to say. You know, Regina, I know you don't think I'm qualified for this job, but I thought that you would at least give me a chance after all that we've been to each other. That hurts me to say this, Regina, but I no longer consider you my friend. <laughs> talk about this. I don't think you get it. We are no longer friends. 